welcome guys. Hopefully you guys don't mind. Screen's a little bit shut out, but welcome today. I wanna show you how to level, well, kinda. Just show some tips and tricks probably today. Literally just woke up, so. But anyways, if you're level 1, this is where you should be at. And you just follow the quest back there. Or at least, you know, after you talk to the NPC. So, you know. Let's see. I don't think you should really struggle when you're like 1 to 20, you know? So like, that's the first boss. And the second spot. That's it's a little bit spoiler, but you know, we gotta make do with it. But yeah, the first and second boss, it's not too bad. You just let's see. <clears throat> you just use more projectile, or if you're not using projectile, using a gun or something, flintlock that you can find in chests or quests would be you know good too. So that requires more exploration. So. But it's probably better if you can invest your points into magic, right? It would make it a little bit easier. And invest your point into magic, right? And a <coughs> and kill the bosses now. But yeah, you can also reset it later too. So actually, let me show you guys. I think if I invest to magic right now. Okay, well. I need a little bit more points, but if I'm below level 80, I, there's actually a reset button at the rookie mage here. I think you can see my mouse, right, guys? It's to the right of the rookie mage, which is your title, but it should be there. So, yeah. Um, but let's move to like level 21. I'm gonna switch fire real quick. Yeah, shouldn't there shouldn't be too much problem with the first and second boss? You know, just don't get lost. <laughs> All right, I'm at the frost mill now, which is yeah, you know, for level 22 and let's see, level 22 and 40, maybe a little bit slightly above that. But once you finish all the quests in frost mill, I believe you should get like level 20, right? About level 20 at least. So like level 19, you should unlock this quest here for um this ice smuggler. So. If you accept these quests, it would be good for leveling. So you should like level one, one level each, or like two quests per level. Like when you're a little bit higher level, towards like level 40 or something. And it's also important that like, if we take some items from the chest. Like, let's see, there's some chests back there guys. You can actually like, you don't have to jump there. You can go back to that pad over there, and you can actually... Yeah, jump over here. It's kind of fun. I like doing that. <laughs> Which is what makes this game great. Anyways, if you have weapon, if you guys have weapon uh, abilities, you could do some AOE to kill the mobs in here faster. But what you want to do is probably go to the right, because we want to gather all the ice smuggler. Ooh, hold on. Wait a minute. Anyways. We want to gather all the ice smuggler. So, there should be one back there. And then this is the explosion. Hopefully, it's not too loud, guys. Um, anyways, um, okay, I ran out. Um, I think I didn't melee them. Oh, never mind, never mind. It was just lagging. But, anyways, after you've done that, you can wait like what? One minute? Oh my god, that's a golden weapon chest. Yeah, I got some good weapons. Unfortunately, I'm not investing into a uh, weapon skill. So I can't use it much. So, over here I'll be, be focusing on magic. Yeah, there's a chest. There's three chests up here at this end of the tunnel. If you head straight down. So, that's really important too. If you want to get some weapon, I suppose. But yeah, once you keep doing this to like level 40, you should be able to head to the next place. Um, I'll probably move file as well, unless you guys want to see me cooking, which is important because I think the best dish you can make would be like 
two fruit and two mushrooms. Those are like the most common items, so that's what I'm gonna make. It's like 39. Okay, 39. I guess it depends on the rarity. It's like 39 for common. And then like, what, 50 something for like, common maybe? Or actually the fruit I use kind of suck. So, eh, it doesn't matter. Alright, let's move to Sky Island. Alright, for level 40 something? Let's see. I think I started doing these quests at level 43. And I'm at level 80 right now. And the reason why I like stay here for so long is that because like the bosses in here are actually really strong. So right, <clears throat> like the bosses after this are really strong. So either you need to gear up properly, or actually you need to gear up properly. So um, that's these are these armor I have are like boss items. So that's not what you should really go for. Those take like a lot more time. But I think if we're lucky, um, yeah, I mean, there's some Ravana armor that's pretty easy to get from chests and stuff. Basically, you just want to open a lot of chests to get a lot of armor. I'll show you guys some spots in a bit, but I'll show you guys the quest for now, which is this dual quest with the main train. You should unlock it after you like do a couple of quests once you arrive here when you're level 40 right just follow the blue mark and keep doing it until you're like struggling basically if you're struggling obviously you need to level up or either gear up right it's also important if you like let's see if you that if you level up your gear right because my gear is level 60 right now it should be level 80 yeah like some gear are not very good the accessory I could probably use more health, right? So this iron helmet would give me health. But I think iron helmet is pretty rare. Will be something more common. Um I mean like the amulets are pretty common, but you can only equip one, so I'm gonna have to make do. You guys can also enchant them I believe. Which you know if you can get a heart enchantment on your item that means extra HP right so that's really good but I don't remember where the alchemist is you know in here oh there he is as I'm looking at him anyways yeah getting the alchemist is important too if you want like extra stat to survive and do more damage right power is how you do more damage but oh yeah I'm showing you guys the chest down here if you walk down here to this pit <clears throat> there should be some chests down there so that's really important and make sure to take every chest you can and let's do this quest let me show you guys some tricks i guess if you consider it a trick but once you accept the quest it should tell you to go to this location Yo, over there to fight the mage yeah you just spawn a boat and then you know dry over there but it's important that you actually lower this like a little bit right see you see how my middle bottom my magic storage guys well let me know when you find it uh huh but it will start depleting if you're too high up so i'll extend a little bit you guys can see that's depleting you know so it's important to keep it a little bit lower all right there we go oh uh, that's perfect i think now we're gonna press r to go in so we can like i think you have to do like the main quest a little bit to unlock the ship too uh, don't remember. I literally did it like what a few hours ago, and I forgot. But anyways, once you arrive, you should fight this NPC. And there's really not much to do. You can cheese this NPC if you want. I guess I'll show you guys it. But it's better if you just fight it normally, because it's much faster. So, anyways, if you want to cheese it, you can bring him down here. Um. I mean, I don't. I'll, I'll, I'm not really gonna do it. I'll just show you guys it, so you guys get it. Uh, come, come, get down, get down. But oh. he's scary. Anyways, uh, I think we have to move a little bit back. Come on. And yeah, like I said, it takes a while. I don't recommend it because it takes a while. You know, like 
You're supposed to lure him into the cave. Uh huh. Come on, man. All right. All right. And you lure him towards this corner. I saw someone do this, by the way. That's how I know. Definitely not because I was cheesing him. You know, I would never do that. <laughs> Anyways, so once he done that, oh god. Well, he's not falling to the edge yet. Okay. Well, it's not working properly. Let's see. Did they fix it? I need to double check too. Then I can edit out this part of the video. Come on. Where is it? Oh, he spawned it back up there. I think they fixed it. My bad. My bad, bro. And there's the window noises. But yeah, you guys could try to cheese it a little bit down there if you want to use that as cover. Right now, I don't know what's happening. I'm getting destroyed. Alright. Alright, it's the morning guys. I'm not very good at my <laughs> shooting. My shooting is very uh very lacking, you see. If I was level 40 I would be dead right now, so yikes. Anyways, once you finish that, you actually don't reset. I know like resetting your character sounds like a you know, easy way to like go back to your sky island if you have your spawn set there, right? Like if you don't, oh then oof, you definitely want to do this and like, you know, use your ship to go back. And since it's not draining any magic storage, you can just leave it here as long as you don't crash it, so. You can just rotate between these quests. So let's, let's get these first. And I think I recommend everyone to get to level 85, I believe. Yeah, 85 would be great. So. Yeah, that's where you should, you know, probably not struggle with the next boss, you know, which is the Sky Island boss. I would do it, but I'm actually like bad right now, so it means I'll probably die. But I'll probably, I'll be able to kill him somehow. I think he has 1.2k, and uh, I could probably, you know, kill him once I get used to his pattern. Oh yeah, speaking of pattern. It's important that you guys dodge the barrage, like, it's great to, like, barrage attacks in general, right? It's easier if you just dodge it, so, like, when I say dodge, it's just pressing, for me, it's, let's see, the setting, I change it to shift, so, I can just shift W and I can dodge, right? I can press them at the same time, or hold down W and press shift, and that's how I dodge. So like the barrage move, I can, eh, it's a little bit spoiler for like next boss, which is Sky Island boss, right? I can show you guys it, it's like this. Like once you hear that sound, arrow is gonna start popping in where your location is, so you guys wanna dodge that basically. And then you also wanna watch out for a throw move that he has, which does like 100 if you don't block it. And like the easy way to, you know, avoid that is just to block it honestly, like. You know, there's no other way around it, so blocking it would be the easiest and listening to the sound of the arrow. <laughs> so that's that. Um I don't think there's anything else I wanna say here. If you guys have questions you can leave it in the comments I guess. Yeah. Grinding here might take you guys like half an hour hour honestly. Maybe a little bit longer. Who knows how long you guys are staying here. But then again you guys can explore a little bit more. Oh man, I, I forgot to show you guys the... How do you... The chest... Okay. Oh god. Hold on. Let me get over there real quick. I don't think my... Yeah, never mind. I don't have enough, you know, skill to get over there. I'm gonna have to reset. Anyways, there's one more chest location down at that cave I showed you guys earlier. Where I thought you could cheese the guy. But... He does use more explosion moves, so you could kind of cheese him. But yeah. Alright, let me get over the back to the cave. You guys know where it is. Two, I believe. Alright, I don't think I had to show you guys the cave anyway, since the chest is just at the end of it. But since I'm here, I might as well. So I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Anyways, um, oh, what's happening here? Great armor chest. You see, guys? I'm getting all these, oh my god, hunting boots? Hunting boots are very like... <laughs> I guess it's level, it's level 1 hunting boots. 
It's not very good. I can tell you that, but I mean, leather pants is better right now. So, I mean, well, then again, it's higher level. But yeah, you know, it is what it is. Better than nothing. Anyways, now we can move to level 93. Yeah, that's for the next quest. Actually, you could actually farm in Skyland till level 93 if you want. But the quest actually gives, like, the blue quest, the main quest, actually gives you enough XP that I hope you can do 93. But yeah, and you'll farm as much as you like, so. Anyways, let's move. Alright, well, another bit of spoiler, guys. Watch out, um... Let's see, I'm at like level 93-ish, well, this is an area for level 93, a little bit more, pretty sure, but yeah, anyways, once you get to the last island, basically, I'm gonna open the map, you should probably head to Ribica, which is the city island, or the west side of the, of Ravana, basically, so, it's where this big castle is, and you wanna accept these quests, like to level from 93 to basically max level if you want, but probably you wanna get to like 119, or maybe a little bit below and start doing main quests again. Um, you should be able to keep do it like after like a few main quests, or if you can't, then yeah. Is either going back to sky to level, but you should be able to unlock it after a while. But. but it's also important to just follow the main quest to get to here first. So <clears throat> I should probably check if like what level you unlock this quest, but I feel like you unlock it as soon as you get here. But who knows, you know. Anyways. You're supposed to do this quest to duel this uh, Centurion, yeah. And that's how you basically level up pretty quickly to the last quest for you know, this chapter. And also, I was gonna show you guys these gunpowder barrel. Oh no, she's chasing me already. But if you guys use the gunpowder barrel, it's much more efficient. Ooh, I can... Okay, she's over there. So, you'll want to basically guide her to this pillar. Oh god, I'm getting destroyed. Maybe. Yeah, the NPCs are too smart in this game, I swear. Anyways, she exploded the barrel herself, so she, she took some damage. She's a little bit tanky, guys, so... Like, at the beginning, when you're still like towards 90-something, you might struggle a little bit. Like, struggle a lot more, you know? But basically, spamming projectile from beginning to end is the way to go. Meanwhile, I'm just tanking it. I don't even care. <laughs> oh, I thought she died. Anyways. Yeah, that's basically it. It's, you could probably want to watch out for her whirlwind, her AoE in general. You know, you could always block it, but it's probably better to dash out. When you see the stationary one, she does send out like a really large AOE that chases after you. But let's see, the bosses in this stage is, are pretty hard. So it's either you gear up or you have a friend, honestly. Like having a friend just makes it so much easier. Like 200% easier, basically, if you have a friend. Other than that, gearing up is probably the way to go, right? Like, yeah, that, that's like the only way, honestly. And like getting used to the pattern. <laughs> oh man, I hopefully I have, you know, summed up everything. Yeah, if I haven't like said anything that you guys wanted to know, I guess let me know in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, let's, you know, I'm probably gonna keep working on my files now. The, ooh, somebody wants to grind the king in the, in the chat. I might do that, actually. <laughs> Anyways, apparently we're fighting a king now. Let's hope we're able to do it. Um, well, it's two people. It should be, it should be a lot more easier.
when there's one person. Like you could probably barely manage it as a one person. <laughs> Cause um this guy does way too much damage. And well he's really tanky too. Ugh. Alright, who is he targeting? Alright, that's the barrage does so much. Well, if you don't block it. So you gotta block that. Um oh man. Guess the video is gonna be a little bit longer. So hard to hit them in the sky. Where'd he go again? He's still back there? Okay, well, he's he teleport now. This is the annoying part about most of these bosses late game. Or the late game right now. Is that they teleport a lot. Oh man. My eyes. My eyes. Spam projectiles. Oh. Oh god. I thought he was going for me. I have a shield right now, so I should be able to tank a lot more. He's mostly gonna go after one person, I believe. Oh god. Oh, oh god. I, that was bad. Yeah, I'm a little bit more tanky right now, because I'm higher level, so... Well, I'm max level, technically. But... If you were lower level, he would be doing a hundred something plus per barrage, and that's even worse. As I take like a bunch of barrage. Great, great advice, me. <laughs> oh no, I actually might die here because he has multiple stages. So that means you know, that means he's gonna kill me. That that's the short answer. That's the short answer. Oh god, dude. Okay, maybe I, maybe I need to eat a little bit more. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> uh, where's my food? I didn't make any food. Shh. That's not good. I just eat a pumpkin real quick. Pumpkin. Uh oh. Alright, gotta block again. Even though I should not be talking, guys. You know, I'm getting distracted, so I'm actually not doing my best, guys. So, like, yeah. Anyways. That was 165? Wow, for like, Jesus. I'm just scared right now because I'm holding like, yeah, that did way too much. I lost like 400 health back there. Oh, and my entire weapon broke. That was wild. Um, maybe if I can get back there fast enough, we can kill the king. That was quite unfortunate. Um, I don't think this is the castle, we have to reset to get closer. Alright, well I'm running towards it now, but this boss, it's just way too hard. Like, he gets bugs sometimes where he doesn't move at all, which is how I like kill the king the first time. But after that, you can't really go out the chamber. Well, if you do, he'll start like one-shotting you for some reason. Don't know why, but yeah, you basically can't leave the room. And it's either you take cover or block, you know, using the structures and stuff. Or, oh wait, why am I entering in front of the... Okay, that was dumb. Anyways, yeah, if you leave this door, I'm pretty sure he just starts one-shotting you. That's what happened to me before. So, yeah, you can't really cheese this besides getting like a friend or two, if you have friends. Like, which I don't. Anyways, I was lucky enough that I like, you know, had someone here when I first did this king. And I did it, I did it a couple of times, but like I had uh, I had another person with me, so it was much easier. But you know, if you don't have anyone with you, it's it's time to gear up. That's a lot of grinding to do. Oh no, they're getting attacked. Okay, where are they? I mean, where is the king? I don't see the king. As he's right in front of me. Let's see, what's he gonna use? I can't tell right now. Is he bugged? He might be bugged. So this is- Oh wait, this is not what I'm talking about. But yeah, um... I think my teammate, because he like, died. Which means he kinda left the chamber. He just started one-shotting me. Or... Is it I died earlier? Wow, that was rough. So, you guys see what I mean? Like, you can't really leave the chamber, otherwise he just... Starts doing 500 damage for some reason. Unless that's random. I could be wrong, guys, but let me know. 
this last boss is just super hard and it's super annoying. It would be very frustrating if you guys um, did it like if you guys came in here as your like level lower level, like maybe like 93 without upgrading gear, right? Yeah, it would it would take a while probably like a lot of perfect parries and dodging. If you guys can solo this guy, props to you guys. Oh my god. I, I, I would like, lost my brain cell if I did that. But, I think I should end the video. I want to kill this boss though. I really want to kill it, man. Okay. Let me focus a little bit. Or I can speed up this section of the video. Yeah. Got it. It takes a lot of damage, I guess, to kill him, so... <sighs> uh, yeah, anyways, we beat him, guys. Well, that's it for the video, I guess, guys. Um, good luck grinding. <laughs> Have fun. And, well, you know, don't suffer too much. You know? Try to over-level a little bit, if you want to have an easier time. Yeah, bye-bye. <laughs>